The Forest. The first film in January. And it's a horror film. Oh god, let's just get this over with. So the film sees our main heroine, played by Natalie Dormer, going to Japan to locate her identical twin sister, who has apparently gone into this forest where people go to commit suicide. While she's there, the forest messes with her mind, and the film drags its ass all the way to a lame climax that makes zero sense. Now, I'll admit, when I first saw the trailer for this film, I had some decent expectations for it, just based on the setting of it. The suicide forest in Japan is actually a pretty cool setting for a horror film, especially if you're leaning more towards psychological horror. I love psychological horror. I love movies that mess with my mind. So when I saw the trailer, I got really hyped. And then I saw it and pretty much had this reaction. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. The Forest is a film that looks and sounds like it should be awesome, but in the end is ungodly fucking boring. There is way too much lead up to The Forest itself, and by the time we get there, the few shocking horror elements we do get are too few and far between. That being said, there are a few moments of merit to be found here and there. There are some good creepy psychological horror elements in this that are quite effective. There's some creepy dead schoolgirls, some interesting flashback sequences, but by the time we get there, it's far too little too late. There's really not much to keep me invested in this film outside of Natalie Dormer's character, who is dull as dishwater. Now, Natalie Dormer isn't bad in the movie. Far from it. A actually, I'd say her performance is probably the best thing in it. The problem is, the two twins she's playing are not interesting. The characters just aren't interesting. You have the cliche good sister, you have the cliche rebellious sister. Right down to one of them having blonde hair and the other looking goth. Duh! I wonder who the good sister is! Duh! Now, are there any other good things about this movie? Well, it is decently shot. The director of this film did a good job in certain areas because, again, when the film wants to be creepy, it can be creepy. The film just needed more of that and less family drama that went nowhere. I mean, I came to see a horror movie about the suicide forest in Japan, and it takes us almost a damn hour for anything in the forest to happen. On top of that, the ending we get in this film is so stupid and nonsensical. After it happened, it was impossible for me to take anything in this film seriously. It was that stupid. The more I think about that ending, the more I wish I had demanded a refund after I left the theater. In the end, the film has a few moments of merit and a decent performance by Natalie Dormer, but the film, for the most part, is a bore fest. If you wanted to watch it on Netflix, I couldn't see the harm, but I'm giving The Forest a D+. Thank you all for watching. Please join me in February as I continue and conclude my Wes Craven reviews, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more.